What's going on, everybody? So I just unlocked a Skeleton King on my free-to-play accounts right here, and I'm actually going to put this in my deck, I think. I had to hit recording before I clicked off that screen, so you guys weren't like, how'd you just get a Skeleton King? You're scamming, you're cheating. Uh, you get a free chest, basically, uh, once you hit a certain amount of trophies. My goal for today, I'm going to put this in for the Prince. I think I really need to upgrade my Princess. It's only level 10, which kind of is selling me. But um, anyways, my goal for today is going to be get to get to 6,000 trophies. I'm currently 300 away. Um, so... However long that takes me, you know, I've already pushed up 600 trophies today just before this video started so I could get that chest um, specifically and also potentially get to 6,000 uh, in this video. So I'm just going to cycle my arrows like this. Dude, I don't know what's going on, but there's some kind of like Supercell event thing that's that's happening this weekend uh, with the, the Mega Knight P.E.K.K.A. thing. Um, and I'm pretty excited about that. That like seems fun. I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's a little bit of hype around the game at the moment uh, compared to what there has been in quite a long time. You know, maybe people are, <laughs> and I was, I'm one of these people, right? But it might be a little bit, um, crazy to drop like a P.E.K.K.A. and an MK Evolution in the same season, but low key, I don't know why. I think it's going to make the season like pretty dang hype. I, I, so far, I've been having a lot of fun playing um, this season specifically, but I'm not sure. So far, I think they're doing a good job and maybe a uh, Clash Royale will be in a good direction. That's my thoughts at the moment, but okay, I'm just going to zap that Goblin Gang really quickly. Be super annoying for him to deal with uh, both sides because now he doesn't have any Elixir. He just played Ice Spirit and Skellies and the Princess to survive, so he's going to have to respond to that Skarmy. Um and let that princess do its thing or he will lose his entire tower so he goes for the skeleton king this guy probably just unlocked it the same way as me um and you do get like a free a couple free wild champion shards from like lucky drops or um like other things i don't, I don't remember exactly what i got it from but yeah um anyways i'm just gonna chill here let that kind of happen i still have a princess on the map that he has to respond to um but yeah i'm back on the free to play account in a pretty dang good mood today to be honest i don't know why he's half that quick no, my level 10 princess, dude. Dang it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in a good mood. We've got our deck at a decent level. Uh, obviously, we have the maxed out witch, which has been like absolutely carrying me. But I am starting to see people are running cards that are higher than mine. Um, for the most part, like the average of my deck is probably like level 12. And uh, we're starting to face a decent amount of over leveled people. This guy's not, not one of them, though, for sure. Um, Skeleton King is going to do a decent job of cleaning this up. But yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how this works. I think Skelly King could actually be a lot better than Prince in this deck, so I can have that dual lane pressure more. Um, I mean, Prince is fine, but it doesn't really provide like an, an amazing um, dual lane pressure anymore like it used to when people didn't know how to defend it. But I'm just going to go for the arrows on top of the Princess. It's going to kill that. He has to, he has to go for the, the um, whatever it's called, the Goblin Gang. It gets sapped off the map immediately, and I'm pretty sure that's Tower. Um because he has like no elixir of course i played the princess right as he logged that was a little bit unlucky but it's okay i'm uh, just gonna go for the ram rider on zero on this right hand side actually because he has to defend that pekka still i can zap the goblin gang ram rider should clean up the other goblins and yeah we're vibing that's two towers down i'm pretty sure nope this guy's fighting for his life he actually did get the inferno tower down um i mean i gotta respect the commitment but we're still going to take this game semi-easily, but you can tell the players are starting to get better, you know. They're actually putting up a, uh, a decent game each time. It's not just I'm easily 3 crowning everyone in 10 seconds anymore. And that's going to make it uh, fun for me, but also a lot more challenging. And uh, we're going to get some competitive games. Oh yeah, you guys are probably curious if you did watch yesterday's video, uh, the 30 and 0 video, uh, where I ended up in the global tournament and I got, I ended up getting ninth, which is fine. I was kind of disappointed with it, to be honest. Um, I threw a couple games at the end that I just shouldn't have lost, but you know, ninth is still not too bad. I mean, top 10 is always an accomplishment in this game. I feel like I'm going to go for the Skarmy on this right hand side. I know this is kind of an odd play, um, level nine. Oh my gosh. This guy is so under leveled. Holy cow. Level nine bats and level 10 dark goblin. Yeah. GG's bro. I feel bad for him he also has level 11 uh, princess tower so it's kind of a miracle that he's even at this point in the game i mean i respect it but how on earth is he um is he just three crowned he is bro <laughs> okay i'm just gonna queue into another match but how on earth is that guy at 5700 like genuinely he's got to be like the goat or something but that's another easy win gonna put me at um how many trophies am i at now 57 something 57 53 not bad we're gonna get to 6k this video i will not end the video until i do get to 6k that is my goal and uh once i get to 6k y'all can stop calling me over leveled and whatnot so he's gonna drop the mk in the back first play luckily for me we've got our boosted pekka um but i don't need to drop it just yet i'd honestly rather play the witch in so many situations because my witch is so overpowered compared to like all my other cards uh, i can go for the pekka here in a second the tank for the mk and that's uh, gonna be a really nice push the only thing that is starting to become a problem is like 
I don't really have ways to take out buildings. Um, so for instance, the Inferno Towers, the Teslas, when people start are starting to actually like put buildings in their deck and I can't really deal with them. Um, but luckily most people are still running Duchess for some odd reason. So I don't have any trouble um, breaking through most of the time, especially when I have my max level witch. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's two shotting the skellies. That's actually so broken, dude. I love facing Dagger Duchess for this reason alone that my witch is like so over leveled at the moment. But I'm just gonna pop the ability now. He's pretty much three crowned. I mean, maybe he could defend. Nah, this guy, back to back three crowns like it's nothing. All right, Julian, let's see what's going on here. So I'm just going to go for my Witch in the back first play. Pretty much any time I have Witch, it's an automatic drop. Um, even if they have MK or Wizard. Wizard is also kind of cooking me in this series, by the way. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, I got the Evo Zap. I think that was between the last time I recorded on this account and this time. So yeah, I have the Evo Zap now from the... Uh, free evolution challenge also uh did you guys see we're gonna be able to get the mega knight evolution for free which is insane to me because they've never done anything like that um which is part part of the reason why i also was kind of giving them credit at the beginning of this video uh when i say them i mean like supercell and uh whoever's making the updates are get, uh, i guess the uh the evolutions but yeah I i'm pretty excited about that you just have to play a bunch of games i'm pretty sure um and you do get the evolution for free for like you have to do it for like a consistent week or something i'm not sure exactly how it is but luckily for me i play this game every single day so uh, it's not going to be a problem bro julian stop hitting me with a chicken emote bro chill out julian i don't ever respect that <laughs> but i'm just kidding i'm gonna cycle the witch in the back um anyways i took the tower already somehow he's gonna drop a level 13 pekka in the back okay so um i mean i don't have skarmy and cycle i think what the two cards that i need to replace in the stack but i'm not sure with what yet are the skarmy and the princess if i can like get two cards that are just more solid than those then i feel like i've got a decent deck but i don't know what do i replace for for like a princess though that's my question because i don't have that many levels of course um and oh my gosh i'm dead Wait, I have no elixir, and you just rage that up. That was, like, the best rage of all time. Uh, I think I have to arrows that, just then just, like, sack my other side tower. Am I dead? No way. Wait, I'm actually cooked. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to lose. Okay, he battle rims that. Uh, okay, I have to P.E.K.K.A. on top of the MK. You know what? I'm not going to lose this. Let me just lock in for a second. Guys, wait, I'm actually getting cooked. No, I can't have my first loss. Not like this. Okay, I'm going to zap this Skarmy. We're chilling here, not even worried about this at all. Um, one minute left. I can take that tower, but I just need to be patient and wait for the right time. I am going to go level 15, which, which you need to carry me in this situation, please. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go for the Skarmy in the pocket and Skelly King on the King Tower to try and like get a little dual lane pressure. Um, he does drop the MK. Oh my gosh, he has MK too. Oh, this is bad. I think I can pop the ability here though, and I should be fine. That's going to kill <clears throat> the majority of... Wait, he just fireballed nothing. He lost. What is he doing? Bro. <gasps> pre zap oh my gosh he just sold bro he just sold so hard thank goodness this guy sold i was actually in some decent trouble if he uh didn't fireball like nothing okay somebody's hitting the ram rider emote on the side dude i wish i got the ram rider emote on this account guys it's my favorite in the game but i don't have it unfortunately uh anyway she's gonna cycle the princess in the back another pekka it is actually like pekka royale this season um i'm just gonna cycle the witch in the back hmm i have good counters for the pekka but I don't have, like, that one, like, I don't have that Inferno Dragon to just wipe it off the map or, like, you know what I mean? Something like that's going to fully counter it. If they have a good range unit, like the Wizard behind the P.E.K.K.A., I can't really defend it. Um, so I'm just going to pop the ability on the right-hand side since he doesn't have that much Elixir. Look at this level 10 Mega Minion doing absolutely nothing. He does arrows that side. I think I'm gonna just going to just Princess the bridge at the, uh, at the bridge, obviously. Wow, thanks, Hunter. You're very... <laughs> princess the bridge at the bridge. Make that a quote for real. Um, anyways, Witch is going ham on this left-hand side. Princess does get rolled off the map by that Barbarian, which is fine. Um, level 13, Baby Drag. I low-key think we just tank that and maybe just, like, zap it. Um, I'm gonna take a few hits, but it's all good. I can just zap this off the map. You know, I wish they did offer the P.E.K.K.A. Evolution for free, because imagine this deck with the, uh, the P.E.K.K.A. Evolution, guys. What I could do, um... I'm thinking about it right now, is I could maybe go for, like, replace my P.E.K.K.A. with a Mega Knight when I do get the Evolution for it um and then i need to put in like an inferno dragon or something but i don't have inferno dragon i don't think on this account uh i need a dps a high dps unit but i don't know what to put in if you guys have any suggestions for, feel free to leave it down below in the comments because i do read all of them of course but i'm just gonna pop the okay i was trying to pop the ability but i guess the game did not want me to that's kind of unfortunate um and now i have no elixir which is not great i'm just gonna princess like this that's okay that's not fine actually um hmm. i'm gonna just go for the skarmy on top of the firecracker should clean that all up with not too much too much of a problem uh 
Yeah, we're vibing. Okay, so Princess is going to be fine. I can just go ahead and arrows that Firecracker evolution off the map. I don't have to worry about that left-hand side because I can just go for the arrows on top of it at the last second of the game. So, just going to go Skeleton King like this. Um, hopefully, I don't forget to arrows that, though, because that would be a monumental fail. All right, I'm just going to go Witch on top of the Baby Dragon. Should be fine. Going to clean that up very nicely. And then I can just drop my... Um, hmm, I'm going to go Pack of the Bridge. Why not? Let's just do it. <laughs> See what happens. If it, if it doesn't really do anything, it's fine. I'm just going to cycle my, uh, my cycle's a little awkward, actually. I'm just going to go for my princess the back, and then I guess we could probably arrows this firecracker off the map. 20 seconds left. Do I need to, what do I even, oh, wait, did I just lose? Hold on, I have to get back to my arrows for the tower, right? I'm going to go skelly king the back, witch like this, and then, oh my gosh, baby dragon. <gasps> baby dragon, what are you doing? Okay, chill. Um, that's not going to take my tower, is it? Wait, am I dead? Wait, holy cow, that firecracker actually splashed. I need to princess the bridge. What am I doing? I'm actually selling. My brain just like froze for like 10 seconds right there. I'm not even gonna lie. But luckily for me, uh, he did not end up taking that tower. That almost got really bad really quickly. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, thank you guys so much for 55k subscribers, bro. Like that's actually insane. Um, I woke up this morning and it was like, 55,000 like three or something so it was, i got i uh, woke up right after it happened so i was pretty dang excited about that um also this guy's at 6k so i think i should be able to get to 6k off this game because i need 34 trophies exactly but yeah thank you guys so much for 55k like that's actually nasty i appreciate it a lot for real but so i'm just gonna go for a witch at the bridge on top of this magic archer i think we're chilling here honestly i don't know what he's supposed to really do um i guess bomb tower could oh wow he's playing a actually a meta deck this might be the first time i've actually faced a meta deck in this entire series to be honest um but i could just go ahead and let that witch do its thing look how much damage that witch is going to do and then i can just pop the ability on this other side go for the zap on the spear goblins on zero um if he doesn't have a spell he might lose his tower oh he's got electro spirit okay um now we're chilling. It's going to take the majority of his, ta of his tower still. I could princess the river. Eh, nah, no need to, I don't think. Uh, maybe I could. I don't know. Should I? Nah, I'm going to chill. I'm just going to be patient um, like I should. I, I don't want to choke the 6k game, but no, it actually is crazy how fast I've progressed uh, in this, on this account. Like, I was at, what, 4,000 maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, and every single game that I've played, uh, every single time that I've played, I've went up a couple hundred trophies. So, I'm just going to go for the Skarmy Ram Rider. I don't think it's going to get through because he has Bomb Tower, but it might as well be annoying, I guess. Uh, that, that Bomb Tower will counter the majority of my, or like pretty much all that push right there with ease. Um, and I'm chilling. I mean, I could just play defense the whole game play it safe to be the danny i'm not sure if he has no he's got minor right so i'm not really like threatened by that win condition if he had evolved drill then maybe um also i feel like skeleton king is going to make my deck better against all of the drill decks as well uh once i still start getting up a little bit higher i don't know i'm nervous because like what's the range i'm going to start getting really really tough opponents that's my question um I'm, I'm almost to the range where i said which was i think 6500 is what i predicted myself but so i'm just gonna go ram matter like this he's probably going to tornado so i'll pop the ability right now perfect timing and then that's going to pretty much be tower i think um if he defends that i'd be surprised that's gonna kill everything which is going to be alive he does defend his tower though with the fireball so gotta respect the commitment to uh, not giving up here but i'm just gonna cycle the witch in the back there's really nothing he can do to take my tower though is the thing um i don't know why he's playing this deck i would rather play some mid ladder menace that has like pekka mega knight e barbs balloon or something um you're gonna have a better chance of actually <laughs> actually breaking through okay that was the worst princess ever don't don't mind that princess guys um it's all good I really do need to get my princess leveled up because level 10 is not going to cut it. Uh, but I just, uh, there's no way for me to do that, right? Um, and I guess that's kind of the struggle as, uh, as I get higher in this range. Um, I mean, higher on ladder and whatnot is uh, how am I going to level up my cards consistently when I don't have any book of books and stuff? I'm just going to have to keep waiting and waiting till I can get the, afford the upgrades and stuff. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that is going to put me at 6,000 exactly, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 34 trophies. Oh, perfect. Let's go. 6K on the dots. So we made it to 6K. But yeah, if you did enjoy this this uh, video and enjoy the series overall, then make sure you leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, once again, thank you for 55,000 subscribers. That's wild. But yeah, hope everybody has a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.